There was another prediction of general relativity which concerned Einstein at the time and for many years afterwards. And that's associated with the, the, the possibility allowed for in the theory that gravity could squash something down so small that it would form an object from which even light can't escape. Nearly a century later, one such object was discovered in the heart of our galaxy. Since the dawn of civilization, we've peered at the stars in the night sky and tracked the movements of the planets. We see these familiar patterns repeated across the whole universe. But when we train our telescopes to the stars that orbit around the center of our galaxy, we see something very unusual. Well, this is one of the most fascinating and important movies made in astronomy over the last 10 or 20 years. This is real data. Every point of light in this movie is a star orbiting around the center of our galaxy. They're known as the S stars. Now, our sun takes around 200 million years to make its way around the Milky Way. One of these S stars takes only 15 years to go around the center of the galaxy. It's traveling at three or 4,000 kilometers per second. Now, by tracking the orbits, it's possible to work out the mass of the thing at the center. The answer took astronomers by surprise, I think it's fair to say, because the object in the center of our galaxy is four million times as massive as the sun, and it fits into a space smaller than our solar system. Now, there's only one thing that anyone knows of that can be so small and yet so massive and that's a black hole. So what we're looking at here is stars swarming like bees around a supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way galaxy.